In 2018, we are made to believe that there's not enough to go around, that there's not enough health care, that there's not enough child care, there's not enough elder care, that education's too expensive, and that you are made to believe that, well, just deal with it, keep working hard. When the average CEO makes $19.4 million, that's what you're told. And when you're told that, you're open to hearing a couple of different things. You're open to hearing, as Peggy just laid out, that it's someone else's fault. That it's someone else to blame for your lot in life. It's someone else to blame that you don't have health care, that you don't have affordable housing. You're open to that message because that's a compelling message if you allow it to be. What I have found in life that is far more powerful than fear and that is the power of hope. Either everyone matters or no one matters. It's that simple. That is our continual aspiration as a country, our continual aspiration as Minnesotans to remember that either everyone matters or no one matters. And as long as someone feels that they don't matter, that they don't belong, that they're not part of something, then we have more work to do. Because the reality, if you don't have affordable health care, if you don't have any health care at all, then you are meant to believe that you don't matter. If you are working harder than ever in your life right now, two jobs, three jobs, and getting further and further behind, you are made to believe that you don't matter. And if you are being silenced right now by your gender, by your race, by your ethnicity, by your sexual orientation, you are being told that you don't matter. But either everyone matters or no one matters. That is our belief. That is the power of hope that you carry out there. Because that message of hope will find people and it will raise them up because we need their voices. We need them to understand that everyone can have health care. That everyone can have a living wage in which they can feel empowered with the dignity of their work. And everyone can feel the promise of equality that this country is founded on. Yeah.